South Carolina is the first place black Democratic voters will really be heard in this primary. So I hitched a ride to the historic city of Charleston. Here I noticed something. No, it wasn't the antebellum cosplay. It was the ads that candidates were running. They all seemed to feature a familiar face. This is an extraordinary man with an extraordinary career. Elizabeth understands what I strongly believe. Mr. Michael Bloomberg is here. So it seems like a lot of white folks think standing next to a cool black person gives them legitimacy. But is it effective? Let's ask my good friend, Roy Wood Jr. I know why you brought me here. Because we're in your hometown, South Carolina. I'm from Alabama. Good fact check that. So Roy and I happily went to Charleston to see if voters noticed the Democrats' brilliant strategy. Have you seen the ads? Yeah, I've seen the ads. It looks like Obama's running again. All of them have these commercials now with with uh, them and Obama saying stuff about them. It's just the candidate with, like, African Americans. Your stance cannot be what Obama did eight years ago. We, we want someone that's going to be, I, I feel, in that sense, authentic. Every it's, day when you wake up, you want a candidate exactly. above all things right. who cares about you. You, yes. And, if and you... has, like, a good picture with Barack Obama. Right. But... No. No. Who think that black people like the white people that got a picture with Obama? I've never said that. I, I, African American. That's what you said. That's the term that's I use. African Listen, you can't ride on Obama's coattail. We not. That's not how we vote. Which candidate has the best OPV? Break that down. Obama proximity value. The Who's closer you are to Obama, the more black people like you. That's a funny question because I personally never even considered that. Who's got the best OPV? Black people don't care about white people in ads with Obama. I don't know, because everybody running an ad with Obama in it right now. That's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. On behalf of black people, this is what black people want to see. They want to see how I close to these what black people. I spend a lot of time around black people. You hang with me. Well, he's at a table with three black people right now. You got to give the brother credit. Thank you very much. But even Roy recognizes the power of proximity. This is a picture of me with Barack Obama. If you look closely, that's Obama, and that's me all the way over there. Is that technically even the same room? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the same. That's, wow. that's Trevor, and then there's a bunch of white people, and then it's me. Are these like interns? These are Daily Show interns in so between you and Obama. Those are producers and writers. Those are respected people on the show. That's an, that's an intern. He, he worked at The Daily Show for a month, max. It just looks like you was just thrown in as a prop. It does look like that. She is 100% right. You look like a prop. I'm not a prop. I'm an employee. No, I understand this is for that, everybody but that works well, at the I'm just saying how you look. You look like they, you know, tokenizing you in that picture. All right. South Carolina voters are not easily duped by the slick political advertising strategy of my one black friend. But who was breaking through? I do particularly like Biden. We need health care, and Elizabeth is going to get that done. Well, for me, um, definitely Tom Steyer. I'm talking about equality. Wait, what you say? What you said his name was? Tom? What's his name? Steyer. Tom Steyer? Yeah. Tom Steyer has a message that resonates and connects uh, with people. Do I follow my heart and vote for somebody like? Even Tom Steyer. I, like, I, like I mean, Tom, Tom Steyer. Steyer. Who is Tom Steyer? Tom Steyer is saying some good shit. Who the f is he? I, I've never heard of him. I don't know. The words you're saying make no sense to me. Turns out this mythical beast spent more money on ads in South Carolina than anyone else. And Steyer's commercial doesn't even have Obama endorsing Steyer. It has Obama endorsing a woman. I heard this voice behind me. Her name is Edith Child. Who then endorses Steyer? Tom spied up and Trump got to go. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve this message. To find out more about Steyer, we went to South Carolina Congressman James Clyburn, who recently endorsed the candidate with the highest OPV, Joe Biden. Well, you know, Steyer came in. He's, he's made it dicey. He's made it dicey. In what way? Well, he's spending millions. Mm -hmm. Money will make things dicey. He's running second or third in South Carolina now. It's what... John Steyer is running third? It's Tom. Tom. Tom? Tom Steyer. Tom Steyer. Yeah, I think. It's Tom, right? Tom. So Roy and I decided it was time to go see the candidates, like Biden and Warren and... Tom Steyer? Tom. Tom. Thank That's you. That's his name? All right. Appreciate that. You get to check. It was inspiring to see candidates engage with the voters of South Carolina. And finally, in a little church outside of Charleston, we got to see the Tom Steyer. And while Steyer is just a blip nationally, he does have some intriguing ideas. I think I'm the only person running for president who's for reparations for slavery. And why is that true? 
because I want to tell the truth. Tom Steyer! Tom Steyer. You're Tom Steyer. Tom Steyer. You guys are so excited. You're Tom Steyer! What's up, you guys? We know this election could go a lot of different ways, and in case it doesn't go the way you want it to go, <laughs> can I get an advance on my reparations? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not laughing. I'm for real. Do this I'm for real. These Democratic candidates are fired up, ready to go. We are sure that was Tom Steyer. Wait, that wasn't Tom Steyer? I'm pretty sure, 70%. <laughs>